Hello wrestling fans, The Wrestling Wizard here and welcome to another video. So it's safe to say the Judgment Day are going through a few struggles and it's mainly due to the fact that Finn Balor and Damian Priest are falling out essentially over their greed for the world heavyweight title. Now of course Damian Priest is senor money in the bank and he has all the bragging rights because any time, any place he can cash in for any title of his choosing and it just eats Finn Balor up the fact that he's got that shot at the title and after all Finn Balor has been doing nothing but losing match after match after match now don't take anything away from the character of Finn Balor I think every single member currently as part of the Judgment Day is killing it Rhea Ripley what do we say about her, right? Dominic Mysterio, literally the ultimate heat magnet in WWE. One of the best heel turns, in my opinion, in recent memory. Then, of course, you've got Damien Priest and Finn Balor, who arguably is doing some of his best character work to date. So you might question, why would WWE mess around with the stable in Judgment Day? They're so popular, they're killing the ratings, and fans are just lapping them up. But, of course, WWE like to stir things up. And as of late, they've sort of thrown JD McDonough into the fold. And you do wonder whether that's a coincidence with Vince being off at the moment. Whether suddenly someone under six foot tall is getting utilised in WWE. Maybe that's the reason why we're seeing other superstars come back into the fold in the women's division as well. But that's a side topic. The question, of course, remains. Is somebody going to leave the judgment day is somebody going to get expelled from the judgment day and if so who's it going to be now with triple h booking yes a lot of it is predictable in terms of the results of the booking however every now and then they like to shock us i mean you only need to look at the bloodline jimmy turning on jay you know that was a shocking moment now i actually don't think this is going to go down the route that we predict the predictable route would be Damien Priest gets pushed out of the Judgment Day and then insert JD McDonough. And then you've got JD McDonough, Finn Balor, Rhea Ripley and Dirty Dom. But this is WWE in 2023 and I think there's going to be a surprise. I think there's going to be a shock. I would not be surprised if the Judgment Day pushed Finn Balor out. Because after all, Dom's a champion, Rhea's a champion, Damien Priest is send your money in the bank. And of course, you've got JD McDonough with all this potential that they potentially see in him as well. So they're just chasing gold at this point. And Finn Balor just keeps losing big matches in big moments. And they might just push him out and then he does his own thing. But overall, I think pushing Finn Balor out would be a massive surprise. I don't think a lot of us would have seen that coming. Of course, you could have JD and Finn Balor go their separate ways and then maybe Judgment Day get a new member added into the fold. You could have Rhea and Dom just go their separate ways and then two more members added in. Like, There's so many possibilities, but that's where I want to get your thoughts and opinions. Head down in the comment section. What would you like to see out this booking with the Judgment Day? Now, it's safe to say WWE... Don't anytime soon seem to have plans on putting the strap, a major strap on Finn Balor at the moment. And if Damien Priest was to come in and cash in, it's very heelish having the money in the bank briefcase in the first place. And I just think of Damien Priest as a really dominant leader of the Judgment Day. I think that would be better utilisation of it. I think uh, Damien Priest getting expelled from the Judgment Day and going his separate ways. For me, I personally just couldn't really get behind that character. I don't think it suits him. I think he's fitting that natural role of that dominant sort of lead role. And I think that would suit him better. He could smash it out of the park as a babyface. But you've got to remember, he's got this briefcase. How is he going to utilise it? How's that going to fit in as a babyface moving forward if he were to go out the group? That's the only thing I do question. I'd prefer to keep him as a heel, keep him as part of the group. And then Finn does his separate thing. But that, that's just my personal opinion. Again, what do you think? Get down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching the video. As always, it'd be very much appreciated if you could like the video, share the video, and even better, subscribe if you're new. And we'll catch you in the next one.